Hi, we're in Miami Beach looking for homeless people to interview to try and learn a little bit more about the homeless. What is your name, sir? My name is Columbus L. Holmes. Columbus L. Holmes. How long have you been in Miami Beach? About 18 months. About 18 months. And what do you do? Well, I'm homeless at present. I, I have had a couple of uh, small period jobs since I've been here, but at, at present I'm homeless, struggling on the streets. You know. Did you have a home before you became homeless? Yes, I did. In Illinois? No, no, not in Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. I'm right, sorry. Right, right. Okay. And when did you become homeless? Right after Katrina hit. Uh, in Louisiana. Yeah, okay. right. Right, Katrina. Katrina, the hurricane in 2005. Right. Okay. Uh, where, where do you live? Any particular place? Well, I have a few locations here in Miami Beach, which is, which is permissible to for homeless people to sleep. One of them is Loomis Park on Ocean Drive. Another one, post office. And that's about it. I don't, I don't, I don't malinger or travel much, uh, you know, in certain uh, communities. Uh, Do you have many friends? Not, no. I don't know anyone. Homeless friends? I'm, I've met people I speak to, but I can't really define it as being friends or anything, you know, just uh, street level uh, acquaintance, you know. I know. Uh, how do people treat you? Well, you well, that's, that's a difficult question when you say people, you're speaking as a whole, you know. It's all depends, man. You know, uh, you might be, one person might uh, uh, put you down and, and another person, as soon as you walk around the corner, someone else might give you a helping hand. So it varies. It varies and it all depends on the class of people that you come in contact with, you know. How about the cops? How do they treat you? Oh man, I, I really, I, I, I take the fifth on that. I, I pass that up. I don't want to make any, any no incriminating no statements. No incriminating statements, sir. That might, okay. I might be persecuted behind. So, have you ever been sick? Yeah, I feel I'm. Uh, yes, I have. I, th I think I, at my age. <laughs> how old? How old are you, Columbus? Well, I'm up there in my forties, you know, late forties. Does, does uh, any gov government agency or anything like that help you out here? No. Well, FEMA, have, when I, after Katrina, they got me a room at the Days Inn and another hotel. The total of the uh, hotel accommodation that I was given added up to about five months, you know. It wasn't enough. It wasn't anything dependable that I could, you know, it was just something that came and that was it which wasn't a hell of a lot for my age, to, you know, after, after paying room, accom hotel accommodation, $106 uh, per day, it doesn't last long, you know. Yeah. Did you have a family before the storm and everything? Did you lose your family? Not in the storm. I lost them, some of them be uh, before the storm, most of them. So you're on your own homeless in Miami Beach? Yes, I am mostly. You know, I have other relatives and things. You know. Yeah. Do you have any? Do you have hope? I think everyone has hope. You know, <laughs> I don't know a man living that don't have hope. What is your? your what is your hope? What is my ambition? My yeah. goal yeah. is to try to uh, pull myself up. And maybe, hopefully, I could find some kind of dependable work that pays enough for my age status to uh, support me. Uh, in a general yeah. norm of society for yeah. housing and, and other yeah. social accommodations, you know. Well, Columbus, good luck with, with Thank that. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you.